That's no moon. That's a small inflatable child's toy in the style of the Death Star. And that can only mean one thing. We're about to do a Star Wars. Depending on when you're watching this, it either is, has been, or is just going to be May the 4th. And to celebrate, we pulled together a big list of our favourite Star Wars references from the wider world of PlayStation. You may fire when ready. Shooting first is neither Greedo nor Han Solo, but Lego Indiana Jones. This is kinda cheating since they're both LucasArts games cloned from the same genetic gloop, but still. At the start of Indy's first adventure is a metal noggined nod to Star Wars, as Indy tries to fool his villainous archaeologist nemesis Belloc into accepting C-3PO's disembodied head in place of the film's golden idol. Belloc is having none of it. <laughs> Also having none of it, where none is people who live in the sky and don't have broken necks, is Bioshock Infinite's Book of DeWitt. Not that breaking necks has anything to do with Star Wars, we just like doing it, but this does. Shortly after Booker finds his companion Elizabeth in a big scary tower, he discovers her big scary ability to rip holes in the fabric of space-time. One of these holes reveals an alternate universe Paris with the cinema showing Le Revanche du Jedi, or The Revenge of the Jedi, which was the original title for Return of the Jedi before George Lucas realised that space hippies don't really do revenge. Next, Bethesda are rankle big on Star Wars refs, so it's no surprise that Fallout New Vegas hides some homage in its sandy sarlacc pits. In front of a ruined house in the town of Nipton, you'll find two barbecued corpses called Owen and Beru. Why does that matter, you shout like a furious Wookiee, because those are the names of Luke's crispy aunt and uncle from A New Hope. Feel free to stare at the sun wistfully for a few moments, thinking about the evil galactic empire and stuff. And when you're done having a lone time with the sunset, ready your biggest shouting trousers and head over to Skyrim, and specifically to Bleak Coast Cave near Winterhold. This icy cove is home to four Wumper-like frost trolls. Use the force look- actually a sword. Use a sword. You better use a sword. And once you've dealt with them, you'll find a skeleton embedded in the ceiling of the cave, just like Luke at the beginning of The Empire Strikes Back. Look, there's even a sword on the floor where his lightsaber should be. The lesson here being, never get captured by man-eating horror yetis without a firm grasp of space telekinesis. The fleshy nightmare of Dead Space does a great job of recreating the functional, industrial feel of Star Wars space travel and throws in some specific references for good measure. This asteroid gunning section in Chapter 4 looks a lot like when Han and Luke take to the Millennium Falcon's cannons in A New Hope. If you see off the asteroids with over 50% of the ship's shields remaining, you even get a trophy called Don't Get Cocky Kid. Nice shooting, Isaac. Auto targeting is now online and clearing a path to safe orbit. And on the same level, this holographic projection of the planet Aegis 7 is a dead ringer for the Death Star as shown in the Rebels' final mission briefing, complete with a large round indentation on the surface. Look carefully, many bothans died to bring us this information. Pretty sure that should be bothans. Anyway, if you thought the original Deus Ex on PS2 was all about hitting things with crowbars and setting off alarms, well, you were right. But it's also about a ridiculously deep story and finding tiny hidden gems like this one in the apartment of Paul Denton, brother of Hero JC, at the Torn Hotel. Access this secret panel to unlock this hidden room, then hack into this computer to read Paul's emails. It's hardly like he was hiding it at all. The last one lists some films Paul has rented recently, including Blue Harvest, which was the cover name used to refer to Return of the Jedi to prevent the shoot being invaded by force-loving lunatics during production. Didn't work. The grimy mortal sadness of Modern Warfare 2 isn't the place you'd think of first while ruminating on Star Wars references, but use the sniper scope to inspect the writing on the top of the Stinger missiles and you'll see this. A furry wave to everyone's favourite walking carpet, Chewbacca. <laughs> <laughs> Sticking with Call of Duty, our next reference brings us to the zombie survival mode on the first Black Ops, and specifically to the map 5. Set in a Cold War era Pentagon, 5 features Richard Nixon, Fidel Castro, Robert McNamara and a trash-talking JFK, who comes armed with a massive stock of zombie put-downs, including this one. And I thought they smelled bad uh, on the outside! Originally said by Han Solo, referring to a torn torn in The Empire Strikes Back, which Oddly, makes us think about climbing inside a zombie to keep warm. Mm. What's the only way that pasty, heartbreaking adventure Ico could get any better? 
with added lightsabers of course. Complete the game once and follow the steps you normally take to get to the mace and you'll be rewarded with the Jedi favourite, an elegant weapon from a more civilised age. Try stealing Yorda now, you shadowy swine! Wow. Sticking with lightsabers, because as a rule you should always stick with lightsabers, there's an unlikely reference to the Jedi weapon in Batman Arkham City. After you've dealt with the Deadshot side missions and found the Assassin's weapons stash, look very closely at what's inside and you'll see what looks like a lightsaber handle at the bottom of the pile. Best guess, this is probably a hat tip to Mark Hamill, who most famously played Luke Skywalker and is unrecognisably brilliant as Joker in the game. You left me to die. Final Fantasy is the perfect place for veiled Star Wars love, with the series' classic mix of science fiction, choppy heroism and sequels of rapidly decreasing quality. Our favourite reference has to be the inclusion of duo Biggs and Wedge in almost every game, giving a big nod to everyone's second and third favourite rebel pilots from A New Hope. Rest in peace, Biggs. Movie Biggs, not Final Fantasy Biggs. We don't really care about him. That's all we have for you now, young Padawan, but keep on Vader-hating until next time. Light side out.